with Genghis, wanted to go over the new event. Basically, it seems like it's just a spender event. Like, they gave us a lot of free stuff, but in terms of new stuff they're introducing and telling us with these messages, like crazy speed up event, uh, runestone event, like these are all just coiner events. So let's take a look at them. Team Recruit. This is okay. It's free. You're not going to win too many fragments of the generals. That, and most of them are generals you don't want. But anyways, save till you got eight. So you get four a day. I spent them. Or I used my four gems. 4,000 gems. But I only got four. I'm going to wait till I have eight. And then I'm going to spin. Because you get a little bit higher chance. Don't spend money on that event. That's a bad event. If you are going to spend money, though, use the Aptoid code on the screen floating across. Get an extra 5% on your discounts on top of the already 12 minimum. So you'll, you're going to be over 20% on your discounts. If you have questions about it, let me know in the comments and I'll help you out. Nothing else here in this area. If we go into here, there's Journey of a Champion. This seems to just be free rewards and uh, don't spend money to get extra rewards because it really doesn't seem to be worth it unless I'm uh, viewing this incorrectly. And I, I, this, I don't understand what this is. So let's, like, I'm not going to sit here and read it. This is just telling me nothing. I'm, I'm going to skip. No reward. Great. So anyways, Divination of Fate. Always, always wait, guys, till you're on the left here. Wait till you have the 80... You get eight, you spend 80 coins, you get 10 spins. Where if you're on the other side and you're doing 10 per, you're only going to get 10 spins per 100. Always wait, and maybe you'll, you'll end up getting a skin. That's all we're all hoping for on that event. If we continue to look here, this is just more free rewards. And don't spend on this event either. Let Ebony know, hey, your stuff rewards suck here. Lose on. If you don't have 16 copies of him, he sucks, right? So if you missed him in his in his historic general ascending event, it's not worth getting. Don't get one of him. Fantasy capital. Okay. Permanent. I'm guessing it has no buffs. So Tanika, he's awesome. But if you have Leo the Third, you don't need him. Like he's a little better, but is it worth really redoing stuff? And if you're not going to be able to use him as a main general and they don't pair together him and Leo, so you can't use them together. So if you can't get 16 copies of him, there's no, I wouldn't get him as a general to have as the main wall general. Gas man, really, unless you need these guys for the art hall, I would stay away. Everything else here is standard rewards. And if we look down here, voice to civilizations, don't spend on this one either. The rewards in the ideal land are not really worth it unless you're a mega coiner. Lucky jackpot, jackpot, just <laughs> just do your one spin a day. And uh, I got two spins today because I just did a second spin. I, if you look, I have 20 coins. They always give you two of the same at the start. And then very rarely, oh, 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 oh. I was going to say very rarely do you get it. A thousand? Give me a thousand? How many coins? Oh, 100. That was really bad. I thought I'd get more. Do I? No more spins. Okay. No more free spins. And that's really it, except we get to the um, Historic General event. Let's take a look at who is on offer here. And we have a Siege General. And she's nice. She's, she's very good. So let's take a look at her. If you didn't get the Hyundai in the other event, get her and ascend her and get 16 copies. But if you can't get 16 copies of her, only get one, okay? That's how I do these. If, I, if I'm if i not interested, I get one just in case they get released into the treasure hall or to be an assistant. This one's gonna be an assistant to me. Why? Because I want covenants on everything now and they've released covenant for main ground general and assistant ground general and main horse and assistant horse. But Archer and Siege, they've only released one of each. So I'm going to assume she pairs with Hyundai. I'll test it out. I'll uh, actually, you know what? Why don't I just get her now and show you guys live if they pair? So I'm going to want to do the Covenant on her. That's why I want her, basically. So let's, uh, how we do? Let's see. And I'm aware also that in my, uh, oh, like uh, Hojo, in my uh, Discord, Dana has told me that I should be using 
regular packs before I use these. Uh, you only have, oh, I'm out of general space. Oh, that, that is actually a real problem with Ebony right now. I will say that uh, they don't have enough general space, especially when you have to hold everybody in order to, you know, general hall and now they're covenant officers and that sort of stuff. So there, I just opened up three more spaces. Come on, let's see. We got to figure out if she pairs with Hyundai. That is the question of the day. And... I don't need him, so I could actually sell him because I have 16 copies, and this one should be her. Awesome. So let's go into my presets. So there's Hyundai, and let's put in the newest general. Come on. They better pair. There she is. Oh, my. What is, what's her problem? Regent Governor. Okay. Regent Governor. So guys, there you go. They don't pair. Uh, so if that's going to affect your decision, don't. Uh, it affects my decision. I'm pissed off. But I do need one because I know one day Ebony's going to put her into the uh, the Art Treasure Hall 4. So let's keep looking. King's Party. Don't get ripped off, guys. I mentally got ripped off, but luckily I'm not coining. So... I'm not going to get ripped off, but what am I talking about? So usually there's a general and a keep here at Kig 10. So, but no, they added two, gen they added two generals. That's cool, right? So Genevieve here is on the warehouse and helps with the archer attack in city. Not that important. But then we got the flying asparagus. But then I thought, I thought this was a general. I went all through the general hall. I looked. I couldn't find her. I looked through forums. I couldn't find anything. Look closely, guys. That's a monarch avatar. And we don't know if it gives buffs. So can anyone tell me if this gives buffs? Anyone who uh, actually... Can I look at my uh, monarch avatar? Can I go in here and can we figure this out? Oh, I got to change back to mounted because... Uh, it is mounted pans right now. So if we go into our monarch avatars, change avatar. Is that, no, where is she? Where's the flying asparagus? Collection, so she's gonna be in collection. Come on, okay, so she's not. She's gonna be general, no. Culture? No. Collection. Did I miss her? Where's the flying asparagus? There she is. And it doesn't look like she gives buffs. Let me know if you know if she gives buffs. Anyways, there is one other thing that we need to look at in here in the uh, event section. And it has to do with Spiritual Beast Seal Pack. So you could get 50 of these. This is a $20 American pack. Multiply that by five to get to your $100 value. So 50 times five, 250. If you use all your double coupons, like if you're a low coiner, if you're, if you're a big coiner, you're not gonna use double coupons on this. You're gonna use double coupons on the event pack or any other pack that comes out later in the event. But 250, right? So if you use double coupons, some triples, you're at minimum 500. If you go here, you only get 150, so if you use a, even a triple, you're at 450, a double, 300. But you're not gonna get all the twigs and jades and that sort of stuff. So I still recommend buying this. Like, if you're a low coiner, I wouldn't buy those seals. Like, if you're gonna use doubles and triples, you're probably gonna get up to like 600 of those for $100. But you could just do buy two of these and you'd get 450 times 450, 900. So, and you get all this other stuff. So I think the better value is still here. But one thing this does tell me is if Ebony is offering us blood seals at a discount now, you know what that means, guys? It means they're about to drop a new buff that you got to pay money for because that's what they do. When they're about to drop a new buff, they start to give discounts on the old buffs. All-Stars is 22 days away. They almost always release something right before all stars so this event is 12 days so that means three days off and then an event starts 
So it seems to me like in that event that starts, that's going to cover the first weekend of All-Stars, there's going to be a mega drop of kind of a mini update of some sort of new buff. So we'll see what it is. Who knows? Maybe our dragons will get gear or something that you could put on them. Something super exciting to pay for. But uh, anyways, let me know anything that maybe I missed in the uh, event. But I think I covered it all. And uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment.